there's still a bit of a stigma around young women playing video games as as opposed to young men playing video games, which we kind of need to get over. We need to continue to do um, to do good work to champion the women that are in the space, and hopefully we'll see more and more people generally getting involved in esports, what whatever their you know what whatever their background is. Hey, I'm Jeff Simpkins. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Resolve Esports. We're quite outspoken at Resolve, I would say, uh, especially myself and, and you and our, our Rocket League manager. We very much are advocates for change and very much call out uh, bad players in the scene, uh, as well as try and create an inclusive community, you know, and learn from, you know, both ours and other people's mistakes. So I think, I think for us, it's it's about championing the the women that we have and uh, and yeah, and just creating a, a more inclusive space, calling out bad players. I think it's really important for us to get together and discuss uh, the issues and how we positively impact the scene, both for current generation of you know talent, staff, players. Um, but also for, for future generations, how we get more people involved, inspire others to get involved in the esports scene and generally make it a safer and more inclusive space for everyone. At Resolve, we have a really inclusive community anyway. We generally have a very low tolerance uh, threshold, I would say, in terms of what we what we allow and don't allow. We obviously have... Um, have had women's teams for the last couple of seasons, both in League of Legends and in Rocket League, um, and as well as members of the LGBT community. So it's really important for me that we create a space for them that they can feel safe in and that they are comfortable working in. So that includes not just internally in you know what we do, but also in our wider community, the community that we're looking to create. We want to make sure that that is, um, is perfect for them, really. Um, I think rather than a specific best practice, I think we just do our best to listen and learn to the people that are directly affected by uh, these issues and that affect their day-to-day lives. Um, and I think that's that's the most important thing, listening, learning, understanding, and adapting what you do um, to, to suit the people around you, I think is the most important thing. I think everybody's going to have uh, unconscious bias, whether you recognize that or not. Hence the word unconscious, right? So I think surrounding yourself with people that are going to challenge the way that you think and also look at things from a different perspective, I think that's really important. And again, just as I said before, listening and learning to the people um, around you is is how you kind of overcome that. I think there is still a massive um, underrepresentation in you know for women in esports. We're we're seeing slowly more. Um, esports athletes coming through that are starting to to challenge the sort of status quo I would say but there's still a big challenge I think where you know where we face that guys or young men do, just don't want to play with with women and then I think there's still a bit of a stigma around young women playing video games as as opposed to young men playing video games which we kind of need to get over we need to continue to do um, to do good work to champion the women that are in the space, and hopefully we'll see more and more people generally getting involved in esports, what, whatever their you know what, whatever their background is. I think you know depending on people's backgrounds, they'll they'll align with certain people in the space, right? And I think making sure that we talk openly and honestly, and encouraging those people to get involved. I think is the start, but having someone that is is a champion for for them, whatever you know, whatever background they're from, I think that's really important. Um, obviously, for us at Resolve, we have uh, one of the best women's teams in the world last season, and we want to be able to use our platform to encourage other young women to to follow in their footsteps. So, I think having someone that you can align with um, is fantastic, and hopefully, we can continue to to make role models of those people. I think women in esports uh, do a fantastic job. I think Billy, Alice, the team here are amazing and what they've built as a community is is amazing. I think they should be very proud of what they've built. It is genuinely a safe space for, for everyone and events like this are just the tip of the iceberg of, of all the hard work that they do. So yeah, I, th- I think they're fantastic. <laughs>